Today I'd like to explain four different ostomy procedures. And by using this apron, I'm going to make it very easy to understand. Now let's begin with an end colostomy. But before we do, let's take a quick tour of the GI tract, okay? We chew our food and it goes down our food pipe, also known as our esophagus, into our stomach. Now when the food's in the stomach, it's held and it's churned and it's mixed with some digestive enzymes and then slowly released to travel through the small intestine. Now as that chewed up food is traveling through our small intestine, the vitamins and the nutrients are being absorbed. So you can say the small intestine eats for you. After that chewed up food leaves the small intestine, it passes by the appendix and enters into the large intestine, also known as the colon. Now the job of the colon is to absorb the fluid out of that chewed up food as it's making its way out of the body. So you can say the small intestine eats for you, the large intestine drinks for you. Now again, that chewed up food is going to travel around and it's going to exit your body in the rectum. Now moving back to the surgeries, the first was an end colostomy. With an end colostomy, the surgeon separates your colon. This one I'm separating in the sigmoid area. Now the surgeon can completely remove the rectal area or they can leave it intact. If they leave it intact, this will be referred to as the Hartman's pouch. The next part of the surgery, the surgeon will make a small incision on the front of the abdomen, then take that open end of the colon, he'll bring it through that incision and he'll fold it over and sew it down on itself to form what's known as the stoma. And this is where the stool is now going to exit the body. Now this was very close to the end of the rectum, so the stool that's going to exit is going to be much like the patient had prior to the surgery. This would be semi-solid stool that would come out from the end colostomy. Now the next colostomy that I'd like to explain is called a double barrel colostomy. With a double barrel, the surgeon completely separates the colon. This one I'm doing in the transverse colon area. Again, there will be small incisions made on the front of the abdomen and both of the ends of the colon will be brought out. They'll be folded over and sewn down to form the stomas. There'll be one on the right side. There'll be one on the left side. And this is much the way the abdomen will appear after double barrel ostomy procedure. Now the next colostomy I'd like to explain is called a loop ostomy. And with a loop, it's different. It's different because with those two prior surgeries, the end and the double barrel, the surgeon made the large openings. With a loop, they simply make a small incision in the front of the abdomen. They reach in and they pull out a loop of bowel. They'll take a retention rod or stabilization rod, slide it down behind that loop of bowel, then they'll open the bowel up and this will allow the, the fluid or the stool to exit from the body. Again, this was a loop ostomy. The final ostomy that I would like to explain differs as it's in the small intestine. It'll be called an ileostomy. It's done in the ileum section of the small intestine. Now notice you don't have your large intestine connected anymore. So you don't have your large intestine drinking for you. That means that the small intestine and the stomach are going to have to drink for you. They're going to do it in overtime and they're going to have to have extra fluids to make up for it. Now, with an ileostomy, the surgeon does the same procedure, makes a small incision on the front of the abdomen, takes that open end of small intestine, brings it through, folds it over, sews it down, and again forms the stoma. And this is the way the abdomen will appear after ileostomy procedure. So those were four stomas. You had your end, you had your double barrel, your loop, and now your ileostomy. For more, for more information on different ostomy procedures, contact the United Ostomy Association. And for ostomates that need a world of support, contact meetanostomate.com. For more information on this apron, go to www.apronsbyjoy.com. Thank you.